here to uh, pro present a solution that is centered around food insecurity. Um, sorry, food banking as a viable solution to um, solving the problem of food insecurity and, um, and climate change. So we operate as a non-profit um, organization. We are focused on um, solving the problem of or combating hunger, food insecurity. And then um, we also are focused on reducing um, food waste um, and also uh, developing programs um, or program that is targeted at improving the nutrition on, of, um, of uh, vulnerable people, women, and um, children. So our programs basically are on three. We have three major programs. First is the feeding program. Second is the maternal health and um, nutrition program. And the third is the um, sustainability and self-reliance program that helps our beneficiaries become self-reliant. Um, so I'm sure um, some of us in the room might have heard of the concept of food banking. It's actually um, an agency that collects food and have it distributed to vulnerable people in the society. And we're able to solve major problems of climate change through that means. So um, under the feeding programs, we have EduFood. The EduFood program is designed mainly for um, st students of public, secondary, and primary schools. And then we're able to get them meal um, per day with the use of um, a voucher, meal voucher. Um, because we are a food bank, we have people we are serving in our community. They are registered and they come into the food bank to have access to food um, that can last them for a whole month. And um, so food bank, food um, mobile pantry also is part of it. And then we are able to go, because food banks are not plenty, are not even much in, um, um, in, in Lagos. We are the first indigenous food bank in Nigeria. And then we go to distant communities with our branded vehicles to get food to those who are food insecure. And uh, monthly outreaches, see what you have on the screen is an example of what um, our monthly outreaches look like. We gather this surplus food, and then we're able to capture them and have it um, redistributed to those who are vulnerable in the society. <coughs> So um, our, our people ask us, how do you get your food? How do you source for your food? Um, through corporate donations, um, individual donations, and market purchase. And um, more so, the, the, the food we're also able to get through um, food rescue, through the food rescue um, process, which is foods that, excess food that come from farms, uh, food processing companies, and then um, individuals and stores. Also, we get this food, and like I said, we have it redistributed to those who are vulnerable in the society. So, so far, we've been able to identify, um, out of the population of Lagos, 25 million people, we've been able to identify 8.4 million people who are hungry, and then um, we've been able to reach 1 million out of the um, total, which still leaves us with a gap of over 7 million people who are at risk of hunger, means that there's so much to do if we're able to have more food banks in Lagos, and then the total population um, of Lagos, 25 million. <clears throat> but we've been able to reach 1 million out of this, um, to these figures. <clears throat> so the, the maternal health and nutrition program is the second one, which we realized that um, malnutrition during pregnancy is responsible for, for high mobility and mortality of pregnant women and, um, and their infants. And we developed a program that is targeted at improving um, the, the nutrition of, of, of pregnant women. And then um, it's, it's, it's a program that runs for three years, and um, we are still just at the beginning of the project right now. <clears throat> so far, we've been able to um, enroll 200 beneficiaries on this particular program, pregnant women and um, infants who, we are, who are on our register and are able to have access to um, meals and um, intervention through our nutritionists and dietitians who take them through the process um, throughout their pregnancy um, cycle. Okay, so um, the self-sustainability uh, and self-reliance program that we have is, um, you know, we realize that the reason why most people are not able to put food on their table um, is because they don't, either don't have the employment or don't have the skills. And what we do is um, we have a, a chunk of over 7,000 registered volunteers on our database. And out of them, we're able to get um, HR practitioners who are willing to volunteer their time to help identify the skills of our beneficiaries. And after identifying it, we're able to develop CVs for them. Then we digitally advertise their skills um, you know, to corporate bodies who are interested in those menial skills like painting, like um, security guards, like um, hairdressing, barbing, and all that. And then they are able to get 
the needed employment that they need um, like the, through the job placement program. So it's the job placement program I just mentioned, and we are familiar with the family farming currently that is being supported by the United Nations. And then what we do is to train women to go into subsistence farming to also help encourage them to put food on their table, earn income, and also increase their decision um, um, making power within the family. So that we are doing to make our, our beneficiaries self-reliant so that they don't um, permanently rely on the food bank. <coughs> So far, I've been able to help other breadwinners to become self-reliant um, in this regard from our annual report. Our annual report is available on our website. You can see uh, most of the progress we have made in this regard. <clears throat> okay, so people ask us, how do you sustain um, the food bank? How, um, um, how do you get the funding that you need? Um, so far, we've not um, been able to get an international grant, but we've been able to um, raise funds locally um, in 2016, 2017, 20, because we started in 2016, and then we've been able to raise the sum of um, um, over 128,000 US dollars locally through the donation of um, um, individuals who are really interested in ensuring that the food gap is closed in our society, and um, and um, it, it, it means that the food banking model is really um, sustainable, um, both in terms of food and um, the resources. So how can this be replicated? People. Um, I also want to replicate this in your home countries, uh, my, um, you know, African brothers and sisters and other people here who are willing to replicate this. Um, you know, I, you can meet me at the stand and I can explain more as to how this can be replicated so that food gaps can be bridged. These are um, contact details on our websites and um, you can have a look at our annual report and the likes of it. And, um, okay. And here's our team. Um, and this is what we are. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Michael.